representatives for Alexei Navalny are confirming his death tonight, but say his mother is still waiting for the return of his remains. Meanwhile, hundreds of mourners have been arrested in Russia in the past few hours, and officials in the U.S. want Russian President Putin to be held responsible for what they're calling murder. Alina Shirazi has details. <laughs> In Moscow, over 400 pro-Navalny mourners have been detained in Russia. <laughs> Seen tackled and forced to the ground after laying flowers at the Wall of Grief, a memorial for Navalny. <laughs> Video shows police pushing a mourner's face into snow before carrying him away. <laughs> Another supporter holding a sign that says Putin murdered Navalny was also taken by police. <laughs> Navalny spokesperson confirming Saturday that he died in a remote jail in the Russian Arctic. They believe he was murdered and claim Russia is hiding his body. Navalny's mother traveling to the Russian prison to find her son's body, not finding what she was looking for. Prison employees not giving clear indications as to where his body was. And meanwhile, back home, Democrats and Republicans putting the blame squarely on Putin. Putin is responsible whether he ordered or not, he is responsible for the circumstances to put that man in. And he is, is, is a reflection of who he is. And it just cannot be tolerated. Let's make Russia state-sponsored terrorism under U.S. law. Let's make them pay a price for killing Navalny. It would allow the Navalny family to go to U.S. court and sue Putin's Russia for killing of their loved one. A state-sponsored terrorism designation is a game changer. It would allow more sanctions. House Intelligence Chairman Mike Turner going a step further, sounding off on a new warning from Russia and Putin's plan to put nuclear weapons in space. Turner saying the White House was sleepwalking into an international crisis. My concern is that this is kind of like the Chinese spy balloon. And the, the administration is kind of hiding perhaps you know, some inaction. We need to make certain that we avert uh, what could be an international crisis. I was concerned that it appeared that the administration was sleepwalking into an international crisis. But it looks like now they're going to be able to take action. Meanwhile, Russia's war in Ukraine powers onward, this weekend taking control of the Ukrainian city of Avdivka. All of this comes less than a month before an election that could give Putin another six years in power. In Washington, Alina Shirazi.